Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to look uh, at MIT's App Inventor for Android. Uh, uh, this is a very cool app for someone who wants to build apps but uh, is not uh, good with coding or has no idea about coding actually uh, because this app lets you build uh, uh, all your applications without using any code as you will see uh, let's get on with this uh, we are going to click this so you reach here and then you simply I already have an account and everything but you need to uh, sign up for it so after signing up if you go into this create app so you're gonna reach uh, this place okay uh, so there are all blocks and you don't need to write even a single line of code over here. Let's continue Okay now uh, It has a very uh, user friendly interface uh, the idea is to give uh, uh, a View how this thing works so there are let's say there is a user interface which has image and list picker and list views and then you have layouts horizontal and vertical and media uh, when you reach there you can explore each and every aspect of it there are so many good tutorials. it's really easy to use you have maps the functionality is really good uh, and the best thing about this that after you build your app uh, you can get APK and that APK can be uploaded to Google Play and you can share your uh, app with uh, the whole world uh, just like any other app. So it lets you build apps which can be uploaded to uh, Google Play, the Play Store. Uh, so and, uh, and it's free. You don't need to pay anything. Uh, mm, okay. Okay, just to give you a little more idea about the, uh, this uh, block programming thing, let's start a project. Uh, actually, I've made a lot of projects, but let's start a new project and we call this, uh, uh, hey, okay, so the new project has started. So I have a lot of things over here. Uh, for example, let's let's add an image. Uh, okay. So now I have an image. Uh, the height I want it to uh, say uh, fill parent. It basically, uh, if you look at this, so it has actually filled the whole screen like this you can uh, do you can play with this uh, i will do this as well okay but i don't really have an image so let's upload a file i do have a file and my pictures for example uh, anything would do uh, let's take this one okay now I have this one right uh, I can scale to fit it or I just remove this now I have this uh, let's add something else let's add a button let's say if I have a I have this button and uh, the button height and everything is this uh, we can write for example click me so you have this and uh, uh, maybe you can add say let's let's add a sound uh, I will just put it here the sound and I need to upload the file let's upload 
uh, I don't know I don't have uh, let's say I add this better days okay now this will be this is now uploaded okay uh, so so I have this uh, user interface where I have an image and I have a button and I have a sound uh, now uh, well you can make a lot of thing you can add a lot of functionality but uh, the intent over here is just to make you familiar with this so I won't be adding anything else and let's get into the most interesting part of this which is the blocks okay now we are here at these blocks uh, so uh, if you can see that uh, uh, I added three components which are the, the image and then I have my button and then I have the sound uh, I did not change it. Uh, and then they have different blocks over here let's say these are we are if then blocks and then there are true false and everything there are a lot of tutorials and you can easily uh, uh get it for example like if the length and the compares text to is less than up and then there are dictionaries and variables a lot of things uh, but let's get on with this one uh, let's go to the button okay now if you look at this that we have several options i'm gonna do this when but button one dot click so what happens when the when you click this button okay uh, for example I would say that whenever you click this button uh, your music should play and I'm gonna get into the sound and I'm gonna say play. so whenever you click this button the sound is going to play let's look at the image and whenever you click the image let's say we the sound stops so you now have an app which you can actually publish to gallery you can uh, make an apk uh, this is the extension which uh, is used when you uh, up when you have to upload files to Google Play Play Store so uh, that is also there let's get back to the designer so I now have an app if I click this it plays a sound and uh, if I click the image uh, I get the sound stops and I click this again and the sounds again so I have this app obviously if you uh, I just made this in like a minute uh, so if you have time and you can design something really great uh, let's look at a few of other things you have drawing you know you have this ball or canvas and image stripe you have sensors and if you look at the sensors uh, you have barometer you have clock you have uh, some thermometer there are so many things if you have the hardware available so there won't be any issue and then you also have the social uh, phone calls and everything so uh, uh, even the robotics uh, th these are uh, this Lego Mindstorm they are also there and uh, then you have uh, your connectivity you have Bluetooth and everything and uh, different extensions you can import even extensions um, the maps are there so this is something really interesting and another thing is that uh, which is really cool about this that if you want to learn so you can go to their gallery and you can download the whole code the whole blocks and there are so many things in this tank you have your controls the if and else and 
the switch statements everything is here you don't need to write anything you don't need to write a single piece of code and you can make full fledged apps it is uh, up to you how do you design it uh, whatever you can think of and for example if you don't like something you just take this off you drag it here and you delete it so this is so easy to use and uh, uh, I would urge each and every one of you to explore this and also do the tutorials. Uh, their tutorials are great and uh, they can uh, uh, really teach you in a few minutes how to make your apps. And uh, if you have a Google account, you can uh, simply upload your apps to Play Store and maybe even see if people are downloading and then they are playing with it and uh, and if you have a very good idea, maybe you can uh, make a very great app with that. Okay. Thank you.